Hello, I'm Justin Donaldson, a PhD candidate at Indiana University. On October 26th in Kobe, Japan, Paula Mayer and I are giving a tutorial on how to use visualization for music discovery at the Izmir Conference on Music Information Retrieval. As part of that tutorial, I put together some tools and scripts to explore a freely available music metadata collection called Magna Tagatune. This dataset is offered jointly by Equinest, Magnatune, and the Tagatune project. They've done all the hard part of analyzing music and extracting and formatting features, so we can just play around with it and visualize interesting aspects of the music. I won't be able to show everything right now, but I wanted to give an example of some of the things we would be talking about, as well as show some of the tools we were using. One common task in music information retrieval is genre classification. That is, a system is given the audio signal of a song, and it tries to guess what genre it's in. Typically, this is handled through a machine learning process. The results of the classification assessment are typically numeric scores like precision or recall. However, computer systems don't really hear the same way people do, and sometimes the way they relate music and genres together is different. Paul and I like the idea of using visualization to better understand how machines relate music using the features we give them, and perhaps it will lead to more human-like classification systems in the future. To that end, we're taking a look at visualizing a tricky music classification problem. The lute is a medieval instrument similar to a guitar. Researchers have noted that the music classification systems routinely confuse lute music from other music involving guitar, such as folk music. We wanted to visualize some music that had both of these instruments. Luckily, Magnetagnetune has a large number of lute and folk pieces. These pieces were tagged with the term lute or folk, courtesy of the Tagatune project. What you're looking at now is the final tune vi visualization that we produced for the demo. The blue dots are lute music, while the red dots are folk music, and the few green dots are tagged as both. The proximity of the dots indicates a level of similarity, as we've in defined it from the Aquinest acoustic features as well as the Tagatune term features. The visualization shows that the representation we generated separates these two types of music fairly well, and we can explore this representation using the toolbar and plot interface. When I select one or more points in the plot, I can trigger, trigger the corresponding music to play by selecting it with the cursor. These blue dots are all pieces that feature the lute. Over here in red are all the pieces that were tagged as folk. Unfortunately, some of these songs don't feature the guitar or are mislabeled. For instance, this song that I've selected here has been labeled folk, but is actually a Bach rendition on the lute. All of this is possible with free software, along with some scripts and packages I'm making available for the tutorial itself. That's about all I can talk about for now. However, Paul and I talk about this and many other types of music visualization on our new blog, visualizingmusic.com. You can also check out our Izmir tutorial page at musicviz.googlepages.com. We should have all the script and tool resources there shortly. We hope to see you all in Japan.